Andres Mercado is 64 and for the first time in his life was recently screened for colon cancer. Como somos nosotros los latinos, siempre que estamos enfermos, hasta la última vamos a ver al doctor. No tengo doctor y pues ahora que salió este programa y quiero aprovecharlo porque no, no, no tengo aseguranza. Mercado is not alone. People at normal risk for colon cancer should start being screened at age 50. But many people delay screening because they don't know how, they're afraid, or they don't have the money to pay for screening. If you look at the rates of screening overall for colorectal cancer, they're at about 65% nationally. But those rates um, drop dramatically for patients who don't have health care coverage, are Hispanic, or have been in this country for fewer than 10 years. Coronado and her colleagues set out to change that through a project called Stop Colon Cancer. They partnered with a community health clinic near Portland, Oregon, that has an electronic health record system. Using the data in that system, they designed an intervention that dramatically boosted screening rates. Simply by mailing patients a introductory letter, a fit kit, and a reminder postcard, the rates of screening went up by about 40%. The fecal immunochemical test, or FIT, looks for hidden blood in the stool. When done every year, FIT is highly effective for predicting which patients will and won't have colon cancer. For this particular screening test, patients don't need to come to the clinic. They can do it at home, they can mail it back into the laboratory directly. So it's really one of the few cancer screening tests that can be completely done outside of the clinical encounter. If patients test positive on FIT, they need a second, more invasive test called a colonoscopy, where doctors look for cancer inside the colon. It has to be done in a clinic or hospital and can be expensive. Most patients without insurance can't afford to pay. So Coronado found a community group willing to donate the services. What we did for this project is partner with Project Access Now that provides follow-up colonoscopy services for patients who don't have health care coverage or are simply underinsured. Mercado's fit was positive. A follow-up colonoscopy found growths called polyps, but he didn't have cancer. For that, he and his wife are very thankful. Yo invito a todos para que puedan hacérselo. No traten de tener miedo, pues más que nada es algo importante para la salud y para vivir bien en familia. What we, I think, demonstrated is that there's a lot of patients that absolutely would get tested and don't need to have that conversation with their provider to get a screening test that could save their life. Coronado has received a federal grant to expand the Stop Colon Cancer Project to 26 additional community health clinics in Oregon and California. 30,000 patients will be included in the larger study. They will begin receiving their fit kits in the mail in the summer of 2014. I'm Mary Sawyers reporting.